This is my handheld gaming device. It's made by Anbernick. It's a model RG353VS. And today I'll be talking about a method of recreating the uh, software firmware for onto an SD card. A lot of people have said that the SD card that comes with this doesn't seem too reliable. So one of the first things you can do when you get it is to make your own firmware, firmware disk, flash drive. So in this method, you will be using the software that they provide on their website. Uh, all you need is a SD card big enough, at least 16 gigabytes or larger. What I've tried is I've used a 32 as well as a 64 gigabyte. And the nice thing is it resizes the gaming partition when you first boot it onto your handheld game device. So this is for me the preferred method versus copying the original firmware USB flash drive and then cloning it. This way, at least, you can use supposedly the full space on the flash drive. So I'm going to go to the website right now and show you where you can find the firmware for this file, for this model 353VS. If you Google 353VS uh, download software, it'll, one of the first search results is firmware download, and that's where you want to go. So this is the URL you want. I'll put in the description. So for my model, handheld, uh, I was actually going to the wrong link, which was this one, because it looks just like the one I have. The one I really want to go to is the 353V. So as a reminder, don't go to the 35XX. You want to, for the 353VS, you want to go to RG353V. And then from here, click download. And then you have two options, the Linux or the Android. Uh, I use the Linux one. This button doesn't work, but you can copy this link. And then paste it. and it takes you to the firmware file. You'll have to still uh, uncompress the GZ file to get the image file. Uh, so I'll kind of do it here just to show you. Um, I'm gonna go download it. How do I get it to download? I love this. So click on this button and then you can click download. It's gonna download. Eventually it's doing its thing. It's zipping the file actually. Uh, once it's finished downloading, uh, you can use a tool like Rufus over here to burn the image onto the SD, micro SD card. It's as simple as that. And as I mentioned before, um, once you finish burning it, once you insert the flash drive into the TF1 slot over here, the top one, and you run it the first time, it'll, I think it resizes the gaming partition. So you'll be able to use the full size of the gaming partition. One thing to note is I don't believe if you have both cards, the, the, TF2 and the TF1 card in place, the firmware as well as the gaming SD card plugged in into your gaming system. I think by default it will try to read from the gaming drive. And so it won't use, it might not use the uh, games that are located that you finally decide to copy onto the firmware SD card. I could be wrong, but that's what my past experience has been. It finished downloading. I'm going to copy this file to desktop. 
here it is on the desktop. Again, it's a compressed file, so you have to uncompress it. Uh, you may need an, you know, something like uh, 7-zip or WinRAR to unzip it, but I think Windows 11 allows you to do it, extract all. And I'm going to just extract it to desktop like this. And there, so extract the file. It's an image file. This is what we want. And you can use that to burn. You can open Rufus and burn it onto an SD card. So I downloaded the file, unzipped it. It's ready to go. I'm gonna go open up have my flash drive. I'm going to put it in to my computer and open Rufus. This is a lot quicker than uh, sorry, running. Oops. Here it is. And there's my 32 gigabyte drive. Make sure you're pointing to the right SD card. And so originally, uh, before this, I had used uh, firmware backup, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use instead the firmware that I unzipped, which was this file over here, onto desktop. So I'm going to select. Uh, Need to go into this folder and get the image file. It's only four gigabytes. Click open. And then from here, it's just a matter of me clicking start. And it's writing the image. Uh, when I tried the VHD backup method, where I copied the original SD card, the writing part took 20 minutes, whereas 20 minutes or more. Uh, this method where I used uh, Ambimix firmware file over here, um, it will only take me less than seven minutes to do. So this is ideal. The other advantage of doing this is, what do you call it? The gaming partition that's on here, uh, it should resize when you first install it into the gaming device over here. When you first install it, you'll see a screen that says it's initializing. And I think what it does is it resizes the gaming partition so you can use it. Uh, I'll make one additional comment and it's that, um, when you have TF1 SD card and TF2 SD card, it reads games from the TF2 SD card, but on the TF1, I'm not sure if it reads it. And so uh, when I was trying to use this, I actually removed the TF2 card so I could play games on the TF1 card. I'm not sure if there's a better way of doing that. There probably is, but... I just want to mention that. So we'll come back in five minutes and try this out. So just finished and so what I'll do now is I will pop in the flash drive I used a 32 gigabyte drive just to show that uh, after it initializes the first time it'll 
resize the gaming partition so that it's larger than the default three gigabytes for the 16 gigabyte firmware file that was originally with it. So let me go do that. I'm going to eject the drive. Didn't do it the right way. Remember it needs to go kind of upside down. The new one's plugged in. I'm going to power it up. And you'll see when it first loads up. It's not powering up. If you have issues, you can try pressing the reset button over here once and then pressing the power button. With my luck, it didn't work this time. Something's wrong with the firmware. When I try to power it, the power light doesn't come on at all. I'll have to try this again. In case you have issues booting it up. Sometimes you can just press the power button. I totally missed that. You can see it's initialing the user data. So I think it's resizing the gaming partition. Taking a This is a lot quicker on my Samsung drive. Should be burning it up now. I want it to be English, so I'm going to press B. B over here. That's it, it's ready to go. that easy so in my case I had trouble booting up the drive if you google it they mentioned press the race button once wait a few seconds and then press the power button and hold it until it turns on you can see that the games partition is 
larger than 3.5 gigabytes. Preferred method. 